it's 5 30 in the morning and i'm trying to keep my voice down because i don't want to wake up the whole neighborhood and i'm waiting outside my house for adam to pick me up because we're going to see a farm property in upstate new york that i actually looked at a couple months ago you know the property was overpriced kind of a dump but you know, owner reached out to us said he was actually willing to lease the property instead of selling it you know which is only 1500 a month compared to you know putting you know hundred two hundred thousand dollars down having an expensive mortgage payment on top of that he has another farm property so we might be able to lease two at once and he could possibly partner with us on a butcher shop facility operation so we could get things running sooner than we thought we could I didn't actually go to sleep last night, but I feel pretty good despite, you know, not sleeping for like three, four days in general. So Adam has the luxury of being able to drive over 80 miles per hour. So we were going like 85 and a 65 and uh, Mr. Douche Trooper has us pulled over here. We'll see if he gives us a ticket. If Adam has a clean license, he might not get a ticket, but that's what they usually do. Let you offer the warning if you don't have any tickets recently. But. We'll see, we're about an hour and 45 away. It's 7.30. 7.30, so we'll actually be there by right. about 9.15, right. maybe. Well, if I keep speeding. We are back in the middle of nowhere. Uh, that douche officer actually gave Adam a ticket. We were going like 85 and a 65. I guess these cops have nothing better to do. That was actually Adam's first speeding ticket. And on the way, after that, I was joking, hey, another cop car is going to come out of these cornfields and not pull you over again. But uh, let me just uh, turn you guys around and give you a view. So the guy that potentially wanted to partner with us on this, uh, that owns the farm, owns all of this property. He's got you know, a 200 acre farm, another 200 acre farm that's uh, in the view over here. There's a farm down there. Um, there's another farm over there. This guy owns all of this stuff crazy amount of land owns all this too over here millions and millions of dollars worth of property so we'll see if we can make anything happen so this is the dairy farm that we looked at a couple months ago we didn't really get a whole look at the farm from this perspective it's 170 acres on both sides of the road so we have this side over here all of this too Nice amount of grassland, a little bit of a marsh down in there, not the, uh, not the best layout completely. And uh, we'll take a look at the farmhouse, the silo, all that type of stuff. Pretty interesting how it's split down the road. I don't know if that's really a good thing or a bad thing. So we had that 170 acre dairy farm for sale and this is the other farm that he has it's about 300 acres uh, there's the barn some silos there's a house over there too he's got a lot of land he's using some of it for corn he's using some of it for hay most of it for hay actually this this corn and stuff here is not part of that farm but i definitely want to uh, see what uh, type of land quality he has but this guy owns this too over here He's got the pond over there and just a whole bunch of land. As you guys can see, this just, this just goes on and on and on and on. Uh, beautiful, but once you realize how much 200 acres is, 300 acres is, it's not really that much land and you can't do as much as you would think on it. These facilities, we, we drove by them quick, but like the house is old, the barns are pretty old. Uh, I mean, they'll work, but... Uh, you know, the, the dairy farm was in much worse shape. The people that are currently staying on the dairy farm were actually outside, so uh, the, the owner didn't really want us to stop by because he doesn't like them that much. You know, they keep the farm kind of sloppy. There's stuff everywhere. It's not, uh, it's not how it should be. So we're not going to get a closer look at the dairy farm, but we're out here. We're going to uh, have a discussion. We're going to see uh, what, what this guy has on the table, and uh, maybe you guys can give us some feedback too. Uh, again, the main benefit would be that we have uh, a lease instead of having to put any money down right now. Imagine if Frankie Boy had this little retreat in the forest, beautiful pond, get lost in the woods with some Russian girl. That's what I'm thinking right now. What I'm actually thinking 
is we're gonna sell Frankie's bottle of water. But yeah, I get this stuff tested. There's probably a bunch of agricultural runoff, who knows what. This is big. I wonder how deep this is. Let's go for a swim right now. This looks good. I haven't been swam in years. I can't really tell how close I'm supposed to get to this water and where it starts because this grass is so thick. Oh, I could see. This is nice. This is big. Cows would love this. So we were just talking again about the options and he was saying that he wants to do a lease to buy option on the dairy farm but we have to pay double the lease price and half of that will go to the purchase price and on this larger farm property he wanted to do less uh, without having to do that addition to the purchase price thing but on a longer term lease and it looks like that dairy farm would be perfect to run the dairy operation on and then we can come over to this farm and do the chicken operation and possibly have some cattle and have the butcher shop over here so that looks pretty good right now but we'll see we're, we're definitely gonna uh, run some numbers see what we can negotiate and also look if there's any other properties i mean you know on paper this has kind of everything i wanted uh, it really does you know i was kind of dreaming of having a, a water source although now that I'm standing right next to it I'm I'm not as uh I'm not as uh willing to jump in but uh it looks beautiful so we'll see I'm, I'm going to take another quick look at at what properties are available what the options are out there and what we want to do uh, I don't really have any reservations about uh, buying either of these properties uh, the dairy farm, you know, the house on both properties, the houses are in pretty crappy shape, but does that really matter? Uh, the dairy barn is in pretty poor shape. That does matter because we'd have to rebuild it soon if the dairy operation expanded. But either way, uh, it, it really is the best of what's on the table right now, what we've seen. Because there's not too many farms for sale in New York, and the ones that are for sale are just not fitting the bill in any way whatsoever and the land in certain parts of new york is just super 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 expensive millions of dollars that we can't afford uh, so uh, we'll see how the rest of the day goes and i'll give you guys another little up how nice is that so we're back at this guy's farm and what he does is he buys cattle fattens them up and he resells them so it's kind of like grain fed conventional stuff but uh, me and Adam are gonna uh, you know talk on the car ride home we'll go over what we spoke about and I'll give you guys a brief little update it'll probably just be what I just said you know we're gonna uh, look around a little more see what's out there and think about this uh, before we jump into anything because uh, even if this guy did want to sell the farm we wouldn't get it until January 1st same with the other property so it's still still a couple months away so you know, seeing as it's September 18th, not too far, but let's see what else we got. So I ended up getting home at around 3.30 p.m. I was so exhausted. I was like dozing off in the car on the way back and I've literally never fallen asleep outside of my bed in like the last two years. And then when I got home, I laid down for about six hours. So it's around 10 p.m. now. Uh, we basically discussed what we needed in a farm on that car ride home and what we're looking at and both of these two properties don't really fit that bill for various reasons we don't need a lot of stuff on our farm you know the basics are a fully operating dairy barn and preferably some more barns a higher acreage but we don't even need that stuff in addition to the dairy barn we just need land that hasn't really been sprayed or just high quality grass that is is natural organic uh whatever you may have it hasn't been touched by man so i'm going to call up some more real estate agents again on monday i'm going to take another look at what's available if any new properties have showed up on the market uh, hopefully we just pull the trigger on something within a month or two and get things rolling because 
uh, you know, from every single perspective, we really want to be providing higher quality foods and just have uh, an easier place to work out of. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. If you guys do want to support us, definitely check out the products we have available on Frankie's Free Range Meat right now. We're already offering plenty of local New York and Pennsylvania grass-fed beef. Uh, in addition to that, uh, you guys could sign up for the various newsletters I have on my different websites below just to stay updated. Uh, so thanks again for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow's video. Thank you.